Often, a hill, pond, or a high ground can obstruct the view of two endpoints. When the endpoints are not intervisible by direct observation, intermediate ranging rods are fixed on the line in an indirect way known as indirect ranging or reciprocal ranging. Using the eye, let's observe the steps of indirect ranging for these two endpoints. As a first step of indirect ranging, gather these instruments. A chain of 20 or 30 meters, 10 arrows, 4 ranging rods. Fix the two ranging rods at the given stations A and B, which are not intervisible due to raising ground. Select two intermediate points, M1 and N1, such that from each point both A and B are visible. The surveyor at M1 directs you at N1 to move to a new position N2 in line with M1B. You at N2 must now direct the surveyor at M1 to a new position M2 in line with N2A. The surveyor at M2 directs you at N2 to a new position N3 in line with M2B. You at N3 must direct the surveyor at M2 to a new position M3 in line with N3A. Repeat this process until the points M and N are located in such a way that M finds the person at N in line with AB and the person at N finds the person at M in line with AB. Now, measure the length of line AB which is the distance of AM plus MN plus NB. Therefore, for measuring the distance between A and B that are not intervisible, you must follow these steps of indirect ranging. Gather the instruments. Fix the ranging rods at A and B. Select two intermediate points M1 and N1. Repeat the aligning process. Measure the length of the line AB.